hello again. So with this one, I'm just going to make a single bag of this one. Just because, honestly, I don't want to go downstairs and get another batch of spaghetti at this precise moment. So here, I, well, I have nine ounces of spaghetti because I was a little, um, I broke off a little bit too much. But you want eight ounces. I'll just make the difference up with some extra water in mine. I guess I could have put this in the bag before I hit the record button, but that's okay. It only takes a moment. Come on. Go in. Go in. Okay. Oh, and I didn't write on the bag first. Goofball. Goofball moment. But anyway, so this one is going to be the creamy chicken. That one's going to poke through the bag. Okay. So I'm just going to set that to the side for a second. Now I'm just going to get one of these little bags because this. Stay. You're not going to stay, are you? Of course not. Okay, so I want half a teaspoon of. Oh, wait, hold on. What was that? That's basil. <laughs> I want a half a teaspoon of parsley. I don't know where I was going with that. I want half a teaspoon of parsley or basil. Oh no, parsley. This is parsley. Parsley, parsley, parsley. Parsley. I want a quarter teaspoon of basil. Put that away. I'm going to do a tablespoon of dehydrated carrots. Now these are my own dehydrated carrots. Use whichever. I was guesstimate. You can use the store-bought ones if you want. I just don't have any. I have my own dehydrated. Yeah. That looks like a teaspoon or a tablespoon. So we got a tablespoon of that. Set that aside. I'm going to use a tablespoon of dry chives. You could use any type of onion in this. I just personally, I like chives. They have a very nice oniony flavor and they're also low FODMAP. So if you can't eat onions, you can eat chives, which I have learned. All right, we're going to use a tablespoon of dehydrated celery. tablespoons of rice flour. I'm just using plain Jane white rice flour. Um, if you don't need gluten free, just use an all-purpose flour. I get, I, yeah, I would use an all-purpose flour. I don't know if you would need two though because it has gluten strands in it, so I can't tell you on that one. I'm sorry. Um, I would assume maybe start with one, but this is just to help thicken it. Okay. Now, you don't have to use the salt, I am. I'm going to start with half a teaspoon of salt, and then if it needs more, I'll add more when I cook it. We're going to add in a tablespoon, oh sorry, not, not a tablespoon, I'm sorry, a teaspoon, no. What one did I use last time? Uh oh! I used half a tablespoon. I used half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of garlic. Sorry guys, I'm trying to go off my memory. I don't always write things down, and that is my biggest problem. I really need to start writing this stuff down. Okay, and again, half a teaspoon of onion powder. And a couple shakes of the Chipotle chili powder. If you want, use black pepper. Again, I just, I don't use it. I don't like it. Okay, and that is all that's going to go in there. Now, if you wanted, you could use um, powdered chicken broth in this, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use one pint or two cups. Nope, shoot, sorry. Hold on. Eh -eh, that's wrong. Scratch that. I'm going to use one cup of chicken broth 
one cup of milk to make it creamy and then I will add an extra half a cup for all of the dehydrated items in here and cook it up that way. So what you do is add your chicken broth and your milk. Well, you dump everything together, right? It's This is no different than a side dish where you take it and you put your chicken broth and your milk in there and then you add all this stuff in there. Add your two tablespoons of butter because you need two tablespoons of butter with this just to help make it a little extra creamy. And then cook it until everything has been absorbed and it's nice and beautiful. But I will probably show you guys how I make this and the, and the other one I did up when I actually make these. But just right now I'm getting them pre-made. So that way when I want them, I have them and I have them ready to use. So. I hope you guys liked the video and I will see you again really soon. <laughs> Bye.